Quidditch is amazing. I never would have imagined a sport played on broomsticks would be so exciting. Have you all flown before? Some, but not a lot. Can't exactly hop on a broom in the middle of London, can I? I used to, I think. But I don't really have anyone to fly with, so I stopped. Why would you ever stop flying? The broomstick is only the greatest wizard invention ever. Actually, the broomstick was invented by muggles for sweeping up. The earliest known instance of a wizard using a broom to fly was in 962. I guess someone got bored doing chores. Joke all you want, but I heard a rumor some professional Quidditch players were coming to Hogwarts next month. Why do you think everyone's practicing so hard? They want to look good in front of the pros, but they won't be better than me. That's enough chatter. Now I know some of you think you know how to fly a broomstick, but... I'll be the judge of that. All right then, stick your hand out over a broom and say, up. Right. When I blow my whistle, I want you all to kick off from the ground. Hard. Yes! This is what I'm talking about! Madam Hooch slowed you down at the last second, so you didn't hit so hard. Which is why you're not dead. You look terrible up there. I couldn't control the broom. And it looks like I wasn't the only one. Are you hurt? No, of course not. It was my broomstick. Ruddy thing threw me off. You're not the only one. Let's get you back on your feet. She doesn't look too well. Shall I fetch Madame Hooch? I'm fine. Really, thank you. I just want to lie down for a while. Thanks for asking. So many broom mishaps. I wonder what's going on. Are you all right? I'm fine. Just fell off my broomstick. Clumsy is all. Did that broomstick seem out of control to you? Maybe. Mine was. Come on. Right. What did you experience? Erratic movements? No control? Sudden drops? Yes, all of that. Hmm. Normally I'd say it's flying jitters, but this is too much. No, I'm afraid these brooms have been tampered with. You mean they're cursed? 
Nothing so dramatic, Mr. Page. More likely a prank taken too far. A jinx, perhaps. Or maybe a hex. Albeit a rather nasty one. Madam Hooch, when I was flying, I saw... something. I don't know what it was, because it was moving too fast. What do you think you saw? Could you perhaps sketch it out for us? Was this before or after you went into a tailspin? Um, before, I think. I see. Get some rest. Despite my slowing charm, you still hit your head rather hard. Best to stay on the ground for now. And that goes for everyone, I'm afraid. Until we can determine the cause of the problem and fix it, class is cancelled. Madam Hooch, my father works for a racing broom company. He might be able to get us some free replacements, if that helps. A racing broom company, you say? Yes, he can teach us about broom care, and maybe even offer some tips on upgrading. I always enjoy watching him work. Excellent idea, Mr. Farrell. Shall we send your father an owl? Uh, right now? No time like the present. Are you really all right? That was a very scary fall. I'm fine, Ivy. I'd get back on a broom right now. If there was one that would actually fly. So what exactly did you see up there? I'm not sure. It was so fast, but... There was definitely something there, shimmering against the clouds. Sounds like someone using a disillusionment charm. Or an invisibility cloak. Maybe whoever cursed the brooms came to watch the chaos. But Madame Hooch said it was just a prank. She doesn't know what it was. And tampering with every broom seems a lot more serious than just a prank to me. I don't know. Actually, Daniel's right. Someone could have been seriously hurt. We should investigate, just in case. Exactly. So, where shall we start? The phrase? Cassandra? I've been practicing Rictum Sempra. Why not check the Quidditch tent? That's where the brooms were stored. Maybe whoever tampered with the school brooms left some clues behind. That's a great idea. Let's go. All right. What are we looking for? Anything that doesn't belong in a Quidditch tent. Gotcha. So, who do you think did it? It's gotta be the phrase, right? Let's just look around and see what we can find. This is curious. These beta bats are perfectly arranged. What, you think the villain tidied up after they finished cursing the brooms? It was probably just one of the house elves. Oh, yes, you're probably right. Watch out! That's a bludgeon! Actually, it doesn't seem to be working. That's odd. What's this? A Quidditch playbook. And there's a name inside. Elliot Evers. Evers? Who's that? Hmm. 
Hmm. I know he's in Gryffindor, and very good at Quidditch. Robin is always talking about him. This is full of plays and tactics. Why would he leave it behind? He probably lost it when he cursed the brooms. He, he doesn't want anyone else to be as good as him. Let's not jump to conclusions, Daniel. I'll ask Robin about him. Look, this Quidditch trunk has been tampered with. The straps have been cut. Alohomora. Watch out! Oh! Come on, help me catch it before it gets away. Golden Snitch! What are you doing rooting around inside the tent? How are we supposed to do a proper search if you've tainted the evidence? We're sorry, Madam Hooch. We were just trying to help. Think before you act next time. It'll save us all a lot of trouble. Still, that was a very nice catch. You might make a decent seeker someday. Thanks. And we did find some clues. A defective bludger and a trunk that appears to have been broken into. All due to our prankster, no doubt. Thank you, but Professor Flitwick and I will take it from here. So, are you going to test the brooms? Of course. We'll get this sorted out and you can get back to flying. The sooner the better. I'd rather you not embarrass yourselves in front of the pros next month. Pros? As in professional Quidditch players? Robin was right? Yes, the rumors are true. Players from several clubs are coming to Hogwarts to put on a demonstration. It should be quite educational and exciting. You'll see what real flying looks like. Oh, keep it. Now that you've touched it, the flesh memory charm is useless. Can't use it for Quidditch. Not in a match, anyway. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's an old training charm used by Quidditch coaches to give their seekers a bit of an edge. Still doesn't want to be caught, of course. You have to be quick. There. Now you won't lose it. No matter where you go, that snitch will follow. Of course I do. I can't wait to fly. I'm not afraid. Right. I need a broom before I can fly. Perhaps Kevin's father can tell me more about broomsticks in general. Could it really have been a curse? Why would anyone do that? And what exactly did I see? Was it related to the brooms? Or was it something else? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. <laughs> <laughs> 